we put his sperm into a syringe and Caitlin actually put the syringe into me on his apartment bathroom floor mm -hmm. and then I got pregnant. That should be illegal and those people should go to jail. Very, very simple. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today I have a different type of video for you. We're gonna react to man gives birth to his child, my pregnant husband. Okay, let's have a look. My name is Ari. Hi, Ari. I am transgender. Mm -hmm. I live in this world as a man. I always wanted to carry a child. I always wanted to be pregnant. Man, you just debunked yourself. That is an innate urge of the female to always carry a child, to always be pregnant. That is not a manly urge. The manly urge to get pregnant. What's up with you, man? I always wanted to carry a child. I always wanted to be pregnant. I was assigned female at birth. No, you weren't assigned female at birth. You were a little girl. My name was woman. Andrea. Yes, hello Andrea. I came out to my parents as a lesbian when I was 18. One thing that I'm gonna give to her is that you can clearly see the white bone structure, so that could indicate that she had higher levels of testosterone and that could have led to confusion. Caitlin was my first love. We met in college. I remember it was our second day of class and I saw Caitlin and I thought, that is the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. Yeah, I can't say I noticed you for a while. It's fair. Many Your whole behavior is absolutely female. You just act like a woman. Everybody can see that. However, nowadays, probably not everybody can see that because we live in a society of weak men. And therefore, some people really believe this is what a man looks like. Of course not. You're a woman. Me months. Wow, man. We briefly yeah, dated for it. about three months and Caitlin broke up with me and broke my heart. But I always was completely in love with Caitlin and always thought that I wanted to marry her and end up with her and I knew that I she was the hottest her, person yeah. I would ever have sex now with. Now you talk like a gay dude. With my entire life. That's it. Eight years later, the stars aligned for us to be together again. Wow, man. Everything changed in about eight years. <laughs> What did you do during those eight years? I bet she wasn't lesbian. Those eight years. <laughs> never. Yeah. No such thing as a lesbian. I never Forget felt very comfortable um, or very pleased with my body. And then in my mid-twenties, I came to the realization that I would want to live my life as a man. Uh, I was... started taking testosterone. I ended up having a double mastectomy or top surgery. I felt better than I ever felt before. That's so sad, man. Yeah, I'll get the door for you, okay? Today, we have an Still appointment just with like our doctor. Lesbian. Can we Nothing check else. in? Hi, can I Hi. help you? Yes. Just checking in, we have 9.30 for doctor, Ari. Man. I got pregnant about eight and a half months ago through an at-home uh, fun time insemination with can just we, a... Can we redo that and not say fun time? <laughs> no. You told me to tell you if you said weird things, and this is a weird I thing. I want to say weird <laughs> things. Um, I got pregnant using a just known a donor. He's a friend who fit a lot of the qualities that I would want for my family. We put his sperm into a syringe, and Caitlin actually put the syringe into me on his apartment bathroom floor, mm -hmm. and then I got pregnant. Mm -hmm. That's so repulsive, man. That should be illegal, and those people should go to jail. Very, very simple, of course. Not only are they in a lesbian relationship, however, this woman here tries to pretend to be the man. So now let's confuse the child even further, let the men get pregnant here. I think Test. we're ready, I think we can do this. I think we, well, I mean, you're gonna do it, so. <laughs> Americans, man. I grew up in a family yeah, with yeah. an open mind about gender and sexuality. Mm, that's the problem. I identify as queer, I'm gay, but most people see Ari and they expect us to be in a straight relationship. But Who's being that? gay and saying I have a husband is also very weird. Yes. Yeah. Sounds confusing. Yeah. 
Um, we like to keep it, keep it new, keep it fun, keep it confusing yeah. for the general public. Caitlin proposed you to me. You are confused, man. That was the best. It was so fun. I would propose to you like every day if I could. It was like, it was so fun and it was- This woman here has all the female attributes you can ask for. This woman here on the right side is actually more masculine, believe it or not. She proposed and as you can see, she here is pregnant. The trans woman is still the woman within this relationship. It is absolutely ridiculous. This is nothing but confusion. Of course, this is not a man. It's totally unexpected. It's not your husband either. I sort of got down and I said, Ari, and then I handed you the ring and your face was like this. You were like. Look at this. It was shocking. You were totally surprised. Oh man, yeah, the Go rest should be censored. Nobody wants to be caught at such an event. Go ahead and lie all the way back. We're just gonna listen and measure to start out with. All right, so this will be a little chilly. What is going Sounds on in the world, man? Come on, honestly. What makes what Ari's situation on? unique There's a is woman that injecting testosterone, getting pregnant through a syringe. Welcome to 2022. That Ari lives as a man and he's pregnant. No, Ari doesn't live as a man. Ari lives as a confused woman. Turns have Always to do will. with just making sure that they have a discrimination-free experience. The staff at the hospital might end up kind of thinking, well, wait. You're the husband, so where's the wife? And her belly's looking flat, so who's pregnant in this couple? All right, yeah. so let's see if this head is down. I might think so. Ooh, God forbid. Yes, there's the head. Looks beautiful. Nicely down towards the pelvis. It's hard not to feel jealous. Cute, man. Because I am also actively trying to get pregnant, but I am older. I am 37, so there's a lot of variables that kind of crop up in your late 30s that we're tracking pretty closely. Yeah. <laughs> but if you are a woman in your 30s pretending to be a man on testosterone, then it's perfectly healthy. All right, so the next thing is I'm gonna have you bend your knees okay. and then put your heels together and then your knees will go apart. And then you're gonna feel this cool gel. The cervix... Baby jumped. Is pretty low, the head is pretty low, and it's actually starting to efface a little bit. I am eight months pregnant, and Dr. Huffbauer says the baby is in a regular. good position for birth. I've seen it all. I am really nervous because there's people who see me every day who don't know uh, that I'm pregnant and they don't know that I'm transgender. So I do have to share this exciting news because we are running out of time mm. and there will soon be a child. Wow, man. Oh, so I've been traumatized all, we have all is my a life. So t-shirt and I can't do a it robe anymore, for you. I am 10 days past my due date. So today I'm being chemically induced and no lifting this. No, no I, I see. If I catch I also you need you to for lift lifting everything. Going into this experience as a pregnant man makes me feel You're really not a vulnerable. Man. Okay, sweetie. That's unbelievable. Those people really think there's some sort of pioneers here. The first pregnant man. So we're almost there. Checking into the hospital, I'm scared about something going wrong. I want to be conscious when I deliver the baby. I want to be able to feel the birth of my child. That's what any woman would say. What am I doing here? <sighs> Eight oh. hours later. Oh, Beautiful. Yep, 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 yep. Way. That's yes. so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, Ari. Yes. My doctor <sighs> said, if I don't get the baby out in three pushes, then we're going to have to give you an emergency C-section. I said, no way. Like, I'll keep pushing. Second there you go. The Good. <laughs> there they are. Good. And then the oh, next Satan. push, Get the baby's behind head me. popped out. I could feel their whole body come out, and it was so amazing. 
Yeah. Oh. Hi, baby. Oh, here's your baby. Look at all that hair. I could cry right now, honestly. Look at this baby. Look at this baby. Look at him. This is the saddest thing I've ever seen. You did it, YouTube. You did it. Oh, I thought reacting to vegans is tough. This took the cake. Seeing the baby, oh. I was just so astonished. Like, it was amazing. They brought the baby over to me, and I knew that was my baby. I recognized them. <laughs> and it was just the best feeling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You've got little mini you ears got like perfect ears like that. Oh, you are gorgeous, huh? Hmm? All right, and now I've seen it all. If you like this video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel, all the links are in the description box below. 10% off on Grasslands Nutrition Organ Meats with my code BOBBY10. Go check it out. Thank you so much for your ongoing support, guys. I'm going to go puke now. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.